How's it going guys? We got blue eyes and we are in blight town as you can tell I got a new armor set and I don't know if I did this on screen or not But I got a pyromancy uh, I actually recorded another episode today, but it was so bad and it was so painful. I just couldn't put it online You also notice that I upgraded my Zwee hander up to plus three again off screen I might like edit the parts together and put it into a video for when I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled like set it to come out at a later date but <clears throat> It just was not a good episode. I was boring There was nothing redeemable about it really So I'm gonna cut here and I'll see you when we're at the boss Okay, we're back and as you can tell I summoned another phantom this one is man eater Mildred uh, oh man, that was an ugly shot. She is a cannibal, I think. I don't really know. Whoops. So let's go fight the boss while we're here. She's not a hard boss, so. Okay. Oh yeah, I try to summon an actual player into the world because I... Jeez, get out, get out, get out. Man, I don't have my same spryness that I had fighting the gaping dragon. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I do a good deal of damage to her. So this is what's like when you have a weapon that's not terrible. Oh, she's a completely immune to fire. I thought she just had a resistance to it. Oh, he's gonna burp. Okay, got out of the way. Good. She's a good deal of damage, but she's a she's a fun boss at least. And this is the last guardian boss. And what I mean by that is me I mean is that she is a um the last boss that guards a bell. And I just like her. She's a really fun boss. And get out of the way. Oh no, man. Okay, I'll cut back. Oh, we got a bro. Let me pop an SS for him. And we have an actual player helping us now. This is pretty cool. No, let's go. Eh, we don't. I don't want to go gank yet. May as well two hand this weapon. Got all my souls back. Papanestis. Don't do too much more damage, actually. This could be bad. Yeah. You can actually dodge her attack if she's like too far ahead. If you, she, if, yeah, man, I can't talk. If you are too close to her, her attacks will actually go right over your head. So that's an entirely possible strategy right there. And I'm just missing horribly right now. Uh, two swings and a giant spider butt. You'll notice every time I heal, uh, he also gets some health back. And that's something, uh, as a host, you have to do. You have to remember that people are there helping you, and they deserve to, you know, have a bit of that good old Estus. Now, most people will use just 
you know, just deal with humanities or something. And when they're in Phantom. But it's also important for the player, or I should say the host, to heal as well because that'll keep their uh, co-op buddies alive. Oh, what was that? I got like pushed all the way around. You can do it, buddy. Whoa, never seen that attack before. Oh. Buddy's dead. And her AI just stopped for like a few seconds, just didn't move at all. Well, they say I can do the rest of this boss myself, which is fine. I mean, it's not like she's particularly hard. She can just do a lot of fire damage. Like right there, just gotta get away from that. And charge in. She won't really do those attacks like twice in a row, from what I can remember. Ooh, I almost got her down. That was close. There you go. See, if you get up close, she actually... Okay, never seen that attack before either. Get close. Whack. There we go. Quaylaw goes down. And in a timely fashion, too. You'll see that we got a boss soul from her. I think she's the first boss that actually gives you one of those. And they have... They have two main purposes. Uh, one is to either give you a ton of souls, kind of like what the normal little white souls I found throughout the game do, except in a much larger amount, usually 5,000 plus. And also we're going to get a look at the next area of the game we're going to be going towards in this little cutscene. That's the big gate that we saw with the Onion Knight in front of it. I think that was in the second or third episode. Uh, it was either like, of Gargoyles and Ganks or... I can't remember. <laughs> it's not important. What is important though is that, that it's the next area of you know the game that we have to go to. Now, there's one person we have to talk to while we're down here. Because we're going to join a Covenant at some point. Probably hurts, honestly, because it's the easiest way to beat the game. And I went the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> uh, we could actually go through that area next, but I don't want to. I mean, I might as well. We're already down here. It won't take me that much more time. I think it's over here. Yep. There are hidden doors. If you hit them, they disappear. They're really cool. Oh, dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Why, yes, I am. But you have no eggs. Hey. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Please. I always mind my manners. Okay, okay. Could you move it, spider butt? Please. There she is. The fair lady. She is also mute. And blind. She's sad. I love her. We're gonna re- Actually, let me check where I got this real quick. Okay, so we are now in the Covenant. 
Uh, this covenant has no major perks from what I can tell. Aside that, actually, I should probably light that bonfire while I'm down here. Nope, it's already lit. Okay, good. The main benefit is actually a single player one. In that, you get, uh, what's what I'm looking for? There's a shortcut that helps you along your way, especially later on in the game. That helps keep uh, a knight alive that will help you in the final fight. So I'm going to level up a few times, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I am now level 37. I have leveled up quite a bit in this playthrough. Actually, nah, I won't level up again. I'll do that off screen. So this is Big Bay Blue Eyes signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll be going to Sen's Fortress.